Welcome sa sip9.com uh, Sa video na ito, itutuloy natin yung law of exponent number 2 ano? na inaral natin doon sa previous video and in this video ay uh, magsasolve tayo ng mga problems na gagamitin natin yung uh, or maybe exercises na gagamitin natin yung law of exponent number 2 So, para doon sa mga hindi nakapanood, punta lang kayo sa sip9.com and then hanapin niyo yung law of exponent number 2. Ano? So, sa law of exponent number 2, meron tayong equation na nagsasabi na x raised to m raised to n is equal to x raised to the m n. So, basically, pag meron kang expression with exponent and then may another exponent sa labas ng parentheses, and then you just have to multiply the exponents. Okay? So, ang derivation yan dun sa, sa previous video. Ano? So, ngayon, titignan natin yung unang example. x raised to the fourth power. And then raised to the fifth power also. So, from, from this uh, equation, multiply lang natin yung 4 at 5. And this gives us so, 20, ano? So, napakadali lang, ano? What about the second example? 3 3y raised to the 4th So, dito, dalawa yung i-raise natin sa 4, yung 3 mismo at saka yung y, ano? So, magiging 3 to the 4th and then y Bakit magiging to the 4th siya? Kasi usually, no hindi usually, pag wala siyang power, ibig sabihin may 1 siya dito. Y is really Y raised to the first power. So, i-multiply mo rin. Ganon din yung 3. Pag wala siyang power, it means that it's it's raised to the first power. So, mag-multiply lang tayo ng 4 ano, sa bawat uh, exponent. Ano? So, magiging ang 3 to the fourth means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Ilan yun? 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81. 81y to the fourth. So, ito na yung sagot natin. Hmm, madali siya, no? Number three. What is 4p to the fifth q squared raised to the third power? O dito, tatlo na siya, no? 4 yung p to the fifth cha yung q squared. So, 4 cubed p to the fifth yung, yung exponent niya yung multiply natin di ba kasi meron sa loob ng parenthesis meron sa labas katulad nito na sa loob tsaka na sa labas so magiging 5 times 3 sorry this is this is multiplication and then q squared ganun din mamultiply na natin yung power ng, ng q doon sa Sa 3, yung nasa labas. So, simplifying, we have 4 cubed is 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is 64. 5 times 3, of course, is 15. And 2 times 3 is, syempre, magiging 6 siya. Kaya siya cubed to the 6th power. So, ito na yung sagot natin. Okay? Number 4. What is... Uh, 6n raised to the m plus 2. So yung m dito exponent, ha? m plus 2 is the exponent raised to the third power or cubed. So magiging 6 cubed and then n, m plus 2, multiply natin sa 3, ano? Okay? So, magiging 6 times 6 is 36, times 6 is 216 ba? So, 36 times 6, this is also 36, 1821. So, tama, 216, and then n, ano mangyayari dito? Magiging 3 times, m plus 2. Ang ginagawa natin pag ganito, 
ini-distribute natin, di ba? By distributive property, magkakaroon tayo ng 3m plus 6. So, pwede mong ilagay na 3m plus 6. So, yung 3m plus 6 ay exponent, ano? Okay? So, isa pa siguro ang example. 5. Wala pa tayong example na may negative. Negative 3 C to the 12 D to the K plus 1 then cubed. So magiging negative 3 cubed ang C natin is 12 times 3, 36 yung, yung kanyang exponent and then ganun din yung K plus 1 maging D raised to the 3 times k is 3k plus 3. Okay? Pinaka-final is, isimplify natin ito magiging equal to uh, ano nga ang negative 3 cubed? So, magiging negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3, ano? Magbura, magbura muna tayo para hindi magulo. So, itong dalawang ito Magiging ano siya? Magiging negative 9 siya, di ba? Itong dalawang ito. Negative 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. And then, yung natira is may negative 3 pa tayo. Oh, sorry, sorry. Positive pala ito. So, this is positive 9. And then, meron pa tayo natira ang negative 3. So, magiging negative 27. So, magiging negative 27 C raised to the 36 and D raised to the 3K plus 3. Dito natin ilagay para medyo malinaw. Final answer is negative 27 from C to the 36 and D to the 3K plus 3. Okay? So I think nakasurvive na kayo nyan, ano? Para gamitin nyo yung law of exponent Number 2, ano? And by the way, ano? Isa pa, isa pa siguro yung example. Pagsamahin natin yung exponent number... Uh, sorry, pagsamahin natin yung log exponent number 1 saka number 2, ano? Ano nga ulit yung log exponent number 1? Uh, madaling example na lang para hindi tayo masyado magtagal. So, yung log exponent number 1 is x to the m times x to the n equals x to the m m plus n. So, pag pinagsama natin to, for example, uh, ano pa bang, oh, example, 2r cubed times 3r squared. So, unahin muna natin isimplify, di ba? Magiging 2 cubed times r cubed. Uh, then, itong pangalawa is 3, cube, 3 squared times r squared. Ano? So, yung 2 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And then r cubed. And then yung pangalawang expression natin ay magiging 9. 3 squared is 3 times 3, 9. r squared, ano? And then magiging multiplication na siya. So 8 times 9 is 72. And r cubed times r squared is this one, this law. Law of exponent number 1. So ipa-plus natin magiging... 72 r to the 5th. Okay? So, sana uh, sana ay eh, makasurvive na kayo gamit ang load exponent 1 and 2. See you in the next example.